Good morning, Panthers. Today is Wednesday, February 15th. In today's show, we will be showing how to use your Panther books. And a video about the Learning Center. I'm Zach. And I'm Austin. And this is GEMS, Gems TV. TV. Attention all students interested in track and field. We will be having an important informational meeting Wednesday, February 15th. The meeting will be right after school in room D2. Please come to get all the necessary information about the season and make sure you are ready to go when the season starts. Any questions, talk to Mr. Smith in the PE office or Mrs. Cuomo in room D2. Do you know how to redeem your Panther book? Here's Mario with more. The student store is the only place on campus where you can turn in your Panther Bucks, but not many students know where it is or how to use it. Today we are going to visit the student store and gain some information on where it is, what it is, and how to use it. Here's Ms. Rios with more information. Anybody can get Panther Bucks, any student at our school, by practicing the three Ps. Campus supervisors give Panther Bucks, teachers give Panther Bucks, counselors give pa Panther Bucks. Why should kids get Panther Bucks? Uh, kids should get Panther Bucks because it's recognizing their good behavior. It's recognizing that they're practicing the three Ps, which are being positive, professional, and productive. When is the student store open and where is it located? The student store is open Mondays and Friday mornings and afternoons. I'm here in the morning on Monday and Friday. The student store is located between the Spirit Center and the gym. What items do you have in the student store? We have These are all our items here. We have... Uh, for one buck, kids can get pencils and bracelets. For two bucks, kids can get water bottles and necklaces and smencils, um, also stickers. For three bucks, kids can get um, toy soccer balls and footballs, uh, candy and Capri Suns, lanyards. For, uh, for three bucks, they can also get candy. We have Sour Patch, which is really popular. We have Takis, we have Snickers, Hershey's chocolates and five bucks soda. Well, that's some great information about, about our student store here at Jim's. So if you find yourself in need of any, anything that the student store has, then be sure to bring your Panther books and buy it there. I'm reporter Jeremy, Jeremy with photographer Mario. Students, if you sign up for broadcasting your yearbook, keep a lookout for an interview slip that will be delivered to your class. Broadcasting interviews start February 21st and yearbook interviews start March 6th. Eighth graders, very important East Coast meeting today after school. Please go to room 105 to start roommate selection. See Mr. Noonan if you have any questions. The Learning Center is a great addition to our campus, but here's Ms. Sleepin with more. Good morning, Panthers. Today we're going to take an adventure to the Learning Center in room B4. The Learning Center has been around for a few years, but today we're going to talk, go talk to the staff member in charge, Ms. Sleepin, on how she operates the Learning Center and what she likes about it. Uh, yes, before I came to Glen Edwards, I taught at Lincoln Crossing, and then before that I taught at First Street School, and then before that I taught in another district. I taught middle school for a couple years, so this is my 21st year of teaching. The Learning Center has been around for a couple of years now. Let's find out why it was opened. The Learning Center was opened really in a response from us being on COVID for two years and we knew that students were gonna need some extra support and extra help, and we wanted a way to support all students in all subjects. Before working at Glen Edwards, Mrs. Sleepin taught an actual class. Let's see which one she prefers more. Uh, I really like the Learning Center. I really liked, I taught elementary school for a long time before this, so I'm used to teaching all the different subjects, but I really like seeing all the different students and getting to build relationships with all the middle school students. Now that we know a little bit more about the Learning Center, let's go talk to some students here at GEMS and see what they like about it. I like the Learning Center because it gives kids an opportunity to finish their work that they didn't finish in class. The Learning Center is great because Miss Sleepin is amazing and she helps with your work. The Learning Center is a great place to stop by if you ever need to get some work done. Maybe even pay a visit to Mrs. Sleepin in room B4. This is Autumn Foy reporting for GEMS TV with photographer Sophia Aguilar signing off. Hockey players, please make sure you sign up by the end of the day if you want to play in this week's game. Have, Have a great, great day, Panthers! Panthers. Hi there, it's
Brittany and Marissa from Eskaton Village in Roseville. And with this challenging year coming to an end, we just wanted to reach out and share some of our favorite moments in the community. MCB would like to thank our sponsors, Platinum Level, Sierra Pacific Industries, Camera Lou, Gold Level, Escaton Village Roseville, Crawford Orthodontics, Damsel in Defense, Silver Level, Ridgeway Family, Far West Rents and Ready Mix, Silvana Egan, Staples Construction, One Up Construction, Komodo Technology, Empire Gymnastics Center, Ace Body Shop and Towing Incorporated, Coxie Jar Consulting, Rockstar Music Academy, Thank you for watching GEMCB.